this is always a fun topic to spend some time with everyone on the audience who really cares about data blending, data enrichment. So my name is George Matthew. I'm president of Alteryx. I have responsibility for a company that does a lot of work in the data prep blending arena. We've got about 1,000 customers worldwide doing some amazing things. So what I wanted to talk today about was how some of this analytic enrichment is actually changing the way decisions are being done at a very top level inside of the world we live in. And what you're looking at is a chloropeth of all the counties by whether they are going to be largely politically leaning towards blue, right, Democratic, or red, being Republican, and what the swing states were, and the swing counties were. It actually turns out that in the past election in 2012, there was really only 50 battleground counties. Everything else was pretty much decided for. For out of 3,007, counties in the US, only 50 really mattered in the end, right? And if you could play the understanding of those 50 counties and what was actually happening in those 50 counties, it was your election to win or frankly lose. And so when we look at the detail of actually what happened in these counties, our team, uh, particularly at Alteryx, uh, Dan Putler, who's my chief data scientist, and the Target Smart team started to break this down on a county by county level to see how do we look at the overall political swing of the electorate on an individual county and frankly on a householding basis. And so how do we do that? So we actually looked at the Roper Gallup polling data for the elections about two to three months before you know, the elections were coming due where we had a fair degree of insight. There was about 3,000 folks that voted, sorry, that polled as part of both the combined Roper Gallup polling data. And it turns out they actually provided a lot of their demographic info as well. So you could take the swing or preference of largely where you were going to vote or how you were leaning on voting uh, Obama versus Romney. And then you have all the demographic data about that person and where they're going to actually vote. Well, it turns out you can take the demographic data and impute it back to the entire country. And that's exactly what we did. We actually imputed it back to the entire country, and we did it at a householding level for all 130 million households in the United States. So a month before the election, we kind of came back and said, yeah, you know what? It's Obama's election. 